Hey guys, it's Callie. Today I'm going to show you how I made this really cool altered bottle just in time for Halloween. And I think you guys are going to love this. So I had a blast making it. And I also made a video on how to make these skeleton keys. So I'll link that below as well. But if this looks like something you'd be interested in, I'd love it if you would stick around and check it out. And I'll show you how I did it. It was really cool. Just some recycled items and items that I got at the Dollar Tree. So I hope you guys love it. And I will show you how I did it. So stick hey guys, around. I'm going to show you what supplies we're going to be using today. You need an empty bottle. Doesn't matter, you know, what kind of an empty bottle. Let your imagination be your guide. I used an empty balsamic vinegar bottle. We're going to be using some gesso. I'm using my DecoArt Media in white. Um, let me see. I used some of my Americana black acrylic paint. I used, you know, you can really let your imagination be your guide, but I'll tell you exactly. I used some netting from an onion bag to give some cool texture. I used some gauze. You can also use cheesecloth, uh, anything like that, also for texture. I used some eggshell. I've saved these from, you know, old Easter eggs or projects in the past. I like to use eggshell. It gives, again, great texture. <laughs> I used a lot of my decoupage mat use some of the you can use any kind doesn't matter but i use golden molding paste use some i use some beads that i had on hand i like to use recycled items I've gotten a lot of things at the at the auction um I use some of my DecoArt Media Misters. I used Primary Cyan, Purple, Turquoise, and Violet. I used some Jute Twine for the top. Can't go wrong with your glue gun. I used some, oh, I don't have them right here, but I just used some seed beads around the top of the neck here. I used some of these from the Dollar Tree, my favorite store, some of these Halloween creatures, and then... We used some of my DecoArt Metallic Luster in Silver Spark, as well as my Rub and Buff in Antique Gold. And that's it for supplies for the bottle. And again, I will link below the tutorial for how I made the um, skeleton key. So stick around and I'll show you how we did it. Okay, you guys, the first thing we're going to do is just give this a good coat of gesso. You can use any bottle. This is a balsamic vinegar bottle that I had, and I just soaked it and took the label off. You don't even have to take the label off if you don't want to. You can paint right over it. So it doesn't matter what kind of a bottle you have. I like to use one that has a cap uh, just so, I don't know, because <laughs> I do. But you could also put a cork in it or... You know, decorate the top however you want. So we're going to put a coat of gesso on and then I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, for this next step, I'm, I just ripped up some paper towel. And you really could do anything at this point. You could use strips of newspaper. You could do masking tape. You could use tissue paper. Uh, just something to give some texture underneath. So I'm going to use my Americana Decoupage Matte Medium and 
just randomly glue paper towel all over the bottle all the way up to the top and then at the same time I save all kinds of stuff <laughs> and this was part of an onion bag so I have this netting and after I put the paper towel I'm going to just kind of wrap this around the bottle as well on top of the paper towel that's glued down so just in no definitely not neat at all and then when all that's glued on I'll see you back here and the next step after that is we are going to do some painting so I'll see you in just a minute okay you guys I just wanted to show you something this is not quite dry yet um, I was able to get this netting on and I had to kind of attach it in the back a little bit with some wire but that'll all get covered up. Um, what I want to do is I was looking around trying to think, I think I may wrap the neck with some jute twine. I know that's not very original, but I love how that works. But around this part right here, I thought it would look really cool. I like to save um, eggshells like from Easter eggs and things like that. And these are some old ones um, that I had laying around and I am going to just take some of the eggshells and glue them around the top you know these are already um, I had made some I wish you could see these better they're really glittery I had made some there you go galaxy eggs last year uh, but anyway so I just want to glue these all around uh, this part of the top of the netting but not all the way up the neck so I'm gonna fill up this whole area here alright and then I'll see you back when that is dry okay guys I let this dry overnight and I think for the next step I am going to take some of my golden molding paste and use some I have some old gauze squares laying around and I just kind of pulled them apart you know you can use cheesecloth and I'm going to use the texture paste or the molding paste on the bottle just randomly and then kind of put this around too just a few of them not too much I'm gonna leave the eggshell alone I'm gonna leave this part alone so maybe just one more and then also using the molding paste I have these little plastic creatures I got at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to randomly I look at this bat I'm gonna randomly kind of place them not too many uh, I'm not really sure I'm just kind of winging it here get it winging it and a few of those there's some spiders and snakes and things like that so just one or two and I also have, this was a free graphic from the Graphic Fairy online. I just downloaded some of these labels. And I thought that maybe I would just kind of glue this down as well. Because once we get all of that done, we're going to go over everything with black paint. So I want this to get a little aged in the process and a little beat up and stuff like that. I don't want it to look too fresh. So that's what we're gonna do we're gonna put the molding paste down put the gauze randomly glue some of these guys in and then the label and when that's all dry I'll come back and we're gonna go over it with a layer of black acrylic paint so I'll see you when everything's dry okay guys we've made quite a bit of progress here um, I went ahead and glued everything on so I did the bat and also up top here I found some they almost look like seed beads so I just put those on as well and around the love potion sign this was a beaded necklace with just clear and black plastic beads so I just hot glued it around the sign and then everything obviously got a coat of black acrylic paint there's some spiders here okay so our next step and I'm really not sure how good it's gonna show up but I do want to try it I want to come in with some of my um, 
DecoArt Media Misters. I'm going to use purple and some violet and I think some of this primary cyan. It won't show up a lot, I don't think, but it may give me some... I'm just going for a mystical look. So after I put on a little bit of that, just in random places, I'm going to go over and touch up some areas with my rub and buff. So I'll go over the beads and the outline of the bat and the spider and just kind of random places. So that's the next step. And honestly, you guys, we're almost done. So I'm going to hit it up with some misters, touch up with a little rub and buff, and then probably going to hit it with a quick sealant coat. But I'll be back here before I seal it, and I'll show you what we got. See you in a minute. Okay, guys, I did the rub and buff all over, and I'm really liking how this is coming out. I used a combination of the gold and the silver. Oh, before I did the rub and buff, I did use, I don't know if you can even tell, I used some of the shimmer misters. When you look at it close up, you can see um, the violet and the purple. But there's just really great texture on this, and I'm really loving it. The little bat face. If I could change anything at this point, I would change the label that I used, but it's going to be fine. Um, I also put a cork up here. And the next step that I'm going to do is take some of this jute twine and my hot glue gun. And I'm just going to start at the top here and wrap all the way around and around all the way up just to here. And then I'm going to take, I've decided to, um, more Dollar Tree embellishments. These were from last year, the spider, and I'm going to attach him somehow actually right here on the, on the label itself, um, I think. We'll see and then it'll we're just going to decorate the top with some chain and some charms so we are almost done for sure so i'm going to put the spider on and the jute twine and i'll see you back here so just a minute okay guys i'm going to call this done i'm in love with this bottle right now i wrapped the top with the twine i added one of these cool skeleton keys I'll link the video below where I show you how I made them. I also made a spider one. It came out really great. But you can definitely add the embellishment of your choice. I look forward to using this in my Halloween decor this year. I hope I've inspired you guys to do some creating of your own. If I have, then, you know, definitely link me. Show me a picture. Show me what you've done. Uh, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed, I would love it if you do. I hope you guys are having a great week. I'll talk to you very soon. Blessed be. Bye-bye.